Hi guys, welcome back. This is the second part of my green screen tutorial. I've shown you how to green screen um, in the first part, how to set up a green screen and um, a pose stand. And this part, this is the save photo that I took in that video. And this time I'm going to show you how to actually remove that green screen in Photoshop. I will also do another video that will show you how to do the same thing on some free software using the internet. So to start, what we're going to do on the left hand side in your toolbar here, you will see the eraser tool. So we're going to right click on that and we're going to go to background eraser tool and select that. Once we've done that, we have an option bar here, a toolbar up at the top. And first of all, we're going to look at these three little icons here and you need the third one pressed and selected and this will just make sure it's sampling the background so we're removing the background. In Linux, there are three different options. We've got discontiguous, contiguous and find edges. We need discontiguous selected here for this to work. And our tolerance at the moment is at 100%. And um, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. We're going to leave it as it is for now. But when you do your work, you might find that you may need to use that tool. Okay. Um, so once we set up, what we need to do now is pick our colours. So using the eyedropper tool, I'm just going to click that and then click on our green screen. Oh, sorry, let me just change the other one to a different colour because that looked very similar. Um, right, so we've got two colours here. You need one green, one black, okay? The green needs to be behind the black. So to switch those positions, I'm just going to change there. So the green tool is um, exactly the same as the background because I chose it using the eyedropper tool black the best way to do that is go in here and um, and you can either click right in the very bottom left corner or type in uh, six zeros in this box just here and that will get black as well just click ok make sure your green is behind if not it's going to keep the green and actually delete your image okay so that's really important so once we've got those colors set up we're going to hit the button that we set, the background eraser button. Now, I think this brush size actually looks okay. It doesn't look too bad. I might need to lower it later on. Um, the best way to use this when we start is only to touch the bits that have green. For example, if I go like this, it hasn't done it this time, but sometimes if I do it like that, and um, it will take away parts of the clothing depending on what colours you're wearing so it's always better rather than just to use the brush across the whole picture just use it on the bits that you want to remove and um, the outline of your pictures because if anything goes wrong it's much easier to rectify as well so i'm just going to carry on and go around the outline of my picture as you can see the bits on the body and much easier and cleaner to remove. I didn't mention before that the hair that I've chosen to do this with is probably one of the hardest hairs you could have a go at um, in Second Life and that's just because it's really wispy. So if you can see here there's a lot of green hanging on to all the wispy parts that we've got. If you chosen a more solid hair, it would be easier to go, uh, sorry, to um, take the background off. But it doesn't matter, we can still have a go. I think we can get a pretty good result anyway. Um, and if you can master this, you can certainly master much easier hairstyles. So most of the green's off now, but you can see that it's still clinging into the hair. So I'm just going to zoom in to show you what I'm going to do next. Because this next little bit is quite delicate, um, I'm going to lower my brush size. So to do that, it's this box here. And just take your brush size lower, and that looks about right. Okay. What I'm going to do, um, using the colours we've got selected to green screen, it's taken out as much green as it can at the minute. 
And the reason we're having problems is because that bright colour is actually diluted with the hair and it's made the green go darker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my green box, my green swatch of colour, and I'm just going to take it slightly darker. Now I'm not going to take it too dark because let me just show you what happens if I do. So I've taken it really dark there. And as you can see, it's wiped out half the image. So it's really important you do this stage really gradually. Okay, so I'm going to try about there. And all you're doing on this very right hand side, you're just um, going down the right hand side. Just go one click down um, and that's just going to make your tone darker. And then if I go over the green, you can see it is actually taking it away so that indicates to me that that is plenty dark enough sometimes it takes a little while to find um kind of when you, you you're on this stage it can take a little while to discover which color um will erase the green best as i say with this hairstyle we're never going to get a perfect result because of the way um, it's so wispy, but I think that's also why it's so pretty. So that's actually done a pretty good job there. Um, I can still see slight green tones, but I'm not going to try that any further because I think it will start to erase the hair. So if we zoom out, you can hardly see the green tones there now. Um, that's a pretty good result. And that is literally how to green screen. Um, any questions at all, do feel free to comment. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found the video easy enough to follow. Um, you can now input any background you want and add some nice lighting and skin effects. And I would love to see your work and what you've managed to create um, from this tutorial. So please do send me links. I'd love to see. And I will also share... Um, my finalised picture as well so you guys can see what I did with this one thanks for watching I hope it was informative um, if you have any other ideas of tutorials that you'd like to see please do let me know um, and I'll have a go at that for you I'm now going to go and make one on some free software so you can see how I do that thanks for listening and um, see you soon guys bye